Ferris. Tom! What's the matter? Oh, it's Ferris. What? What's wrong? What's wrong? For Christ's sake, look at him, honey. Ferris? He doesn't have a fever, but he says his stomach hurts and he's seeing spots. What's the matter, Ferris? Papa? Honey, feel his hands. They're cold and clammy. Mm. I'm fine. I get up. No. 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 I have a test today. No. I have to take it. I, I want to go to a good college so I can have a fruitful life. Annie, you're not going to school like this now. Oh, fine. What's this? What's his problem? He doesn't feel well. Yeah, right. Dry that one out. You can fertilize the lawn. Jeannie? Is that you? Jeannie? I can't see that far. Jeannie? Right. Jeannie, I... Bite the big one, Junior. Thank you, Jeannie. You get to school. Wait, you're letting him stay home? I can't believe this. If I was bleeding out my eyes, you guys would make me go to school. This is so unfair. Jeannie, please don't be upset with me. You have your health. Be thankful. Oh. Mm. oh. That's it. I want out of this family. I'm OK. <clears throat> I'll just sleep. Maybe I'll have an aspirin around noon. Now, listen. I'm showing some houses to that, that family from Vermont today, so I'll be in the area now. My office will know just where I am if you need me, OK? OK. OK. I'll check on you, too, pal. It's, it's nice to know that I have such loving, caring parents. You're both very special people. <laughs> now, you, you get better, pumpkin. OK, pumpkin. I'll be home at 6 sharp. If you need anything, call. I <laughs> love you, sweetie. me, me, Call if you need us. They bought it. Incredible. One of the worst performances of my career, and they never doubted it for a second. How could I possibly be expected to handle school on a day like this? This is my ninth sick day this semester. It's getting pretty tough coming up with new illnesses. If I go for 10, I'm probably gonna have to barf up a lung. So I better make this one count. The key to faking out the parents is the clammy hands. It's a good non-specific symptom. I'm a big believer in it. A lot of people will tell you that a good phony fever is a dead lock. But uh, you get a nervous mother, you could wind up in a doctor's office. That's worse than school. You fake a stomach cramp, and when you're bent over, Moaning and wailing, you lick your palms. It's a little childish and stupid, but then so is high school. Life moves pretty fast. If you don't stop and look around once in a while, you could miss it. I do have a test today. That wasn't bullshit. It's on European socialism. I mean, really, what's the point? I'm not European. I don't plan on being European. So who gives a crap if they're socialists? They could be fascist anarchists. It still wouldn't change the fact that I don't own a car. I recall a Central Park in fall. How you tore your dress. What a mess, I confess. It's not that I condone fascism, or any ism for that matter. Isms, in my opinion, are not good. A person should not believe in an ism. He should believe in himself. I quote John Lennon, I don't believe in Beatles, I just believe in me. A good point there. After all, he was the walrus. 
I could be the walrus. I'd still have to bum rides off of people. <laughs>